digital imaging or digital image acquisition is the creation of digital images, such as of a physical scene or of the interior structure of an object. The term is often assumed to imply or include the processing, compression, storage, printing, and display of such images. Digital imaging can be classified by the type of electromagnetic radiation or other waves whose variable attenuation, as they pass through or reflect off objects, conveys the information that constitutes the image. In all classes of digital imaging, the information is converted by image sensors into digital signals that are processed by a computer and outputted as a visible light image. For example, the medium of visible light allows digital photography with various kinds of digital cameras. X-rays allow digital X-ray imaging, and gamma rays allow digital gamma ray imaging. Sound allows ultrasonography and sonar, and radio waves allow radar. Digital imaging lends itself well to image analysis by software, as well as to image editing. History Before digital imaging, the first photograph ever produced was in 1826 by Frenchman Joseph Nika Copyright 4 Nia Copyright PCE. When Joseph was 28, he was discussing with his brother Claude about the possibility of reproducing images with light. His focus on his new innovations began in 1816. He was in fact more interested in creating an engine for a boat. Joseph and his brother focused on that for quite some time and Claude successfully promoted his innovation moving and advancing him to England. Joseph was able to focus on the photograph and finally in 1826, he was able to produce his first photograph of a view through his window. It took eight hours of exposure to light to finally process it. Now, with digital imaging photos do not take that long to process. Brown, be the first photograph. Abbey Newsletter, V26, N3. Digital imaging was developed in the 1960s and 1970s, largely to avoid the operational weaknesses of film cameras, for scientific and military missions including the KH-11 program. As digital technology became cheaper in later decades, it replaced the old film methods for many purposes. The first digital image was produced in 1920, by the Bartlin Cable Picture Transmission System. British inventors, Harry G. Bartholomew and Maynard D. McFarlane, developed this method. The process consisted of a euro or a series of negatives on zinc plates that were exposed for varying lengths of time, thus producing varying densities, a euro. The Bartlin Cable Picture Transmission System generated at both its transmitter and its receiver end a punch data card or tape that was recreated as an image. In 1957, Russell A. Kish produced a device that generated digital data that could be stored in a computer. This used a drum scanner and photomultiplier tube. In the early 1960s, while developing compact, lightweight, portable equipment for then board non-destructive testing of naval aircraft, Frederick G. Weighart and James F. McNulty at Automation Industries, Inc., then, in El Segundo, California co-invented the first apparatus to generate a digital image in real time, which image was a fluoroscopic digital radiograph. Square wave signals were detected by the pixels of a cathode ray tube to create the image. These different scanning ideas were the basis of the first designs of digital camera. Early cameras took a long time to capture an image and were poorly suited for consumer purposes. It wasn't a Euro unregistered trademark T until the development of the CCD that the digital camera really took off. The CCD became part of the imaging systems used in telescopes, the first black and white digital cameras and camcorders in the 1980s. Color was eventually added to the CCD and is a usual feature of cameras today. Changing environment, great strides have been made in the field of digital imaging. Negatives and exposure are foreign concepts to many, and the first digital image in 1920 led eventually to cheaper equipment, increasingly powerful yet simple software, and the growth of the Internet. The constant advancement and production of physical equipment and hardware related to digital imaging has affected the environment surrounding the field. From cameras and weak cams to printers and scanners, the hardware is becoming sleeker, thinner, faster, and cheaper. As the cost of equipment decreases, the market for new enthusiasts widens, allowing more consumers to experience the thrill of creating their own images. 
everyday personal laptops, family desktops, and company computers are able to handle photographic software. Our computers are more powerful machines with increasing capacities for running programs of any kind a euro especially digital imaging software. And that software is quickly becoming both smarter and simpler. Although functions on today are Euro unregistered trademark as programs reach the level of precise editing and even rendering 3D images, user interfaces are designed to be friendly to advanced users as well as first-time fans. The Internet allows editing, viewing, and sharing digital photos and graphics A quick browser around the web can easily turn up graphic artwork from budding artists, news photos from around the world, corporate images of new products and services, and much more. The Internet has clearly proven itself a catalyst in fostering the growth of digital imaging. Online photo sharing of images changes the way we understand photography and photographers. Online sites such as FLIKR, Shutterfly, and Instagram give billions the capability to share their photography, whether they are amateurs or professionals. Photography has gone from being a luxury medium of communication and sharing to more of a fleeting moment in time. Subjects have also changed. Pictures used to be primarily taken of people and family. Now, we take them of anything. We can document our day and share it with everyone with the touch of our fingers. In 1826 Neep was the first to develop a photo which used lights to reproduce images. The advancement of photography has drastically increased over the years. Everyone is now a photographer in their own way whereas during the early 1800s and 1900s the expense of lasting photos was highly valued and appreciated by consumers and producers. According to the magazine article on Five Ways Digital Camera Changed Us states the following, the impact on professional photographers has been dramatic. Once upon a time a photographer will in a Euro unregistered trademark t their waste a shot unless they were virtually certain it would work a Euro the use of digital imaging, photography, has changed the way we interacted with our environment over the years. Part of the world is experienced differently through visual imagining of lasting memories, it has become a new form of communication with friends, family and loved ones around the world without face-to-face -face interactions. Through photography it is easy to see those that you have never seen before and feel their presence without them being around, for example Instagram is a form of social media where anyone is allowed to shoot, edit and share photos of whatever they want with friends and family. Facebook, Snapshot, Vine and Twitter are also ways people express themselves with little or no words and are able to capture every moment that is important. Lasting memories that were hard to capture, is now easy because everyone is now able to take pictures and edit it on their phones or laptops. Photography has become a new way to communicate and it is rapidly increasing as time goes by, which has affected the world around us. Key developments of the camera One of the first big advancements was the invention of the camera obscura by Ulhazen. This led to the invention of the camera lucida in the early 19th century by William Hyde Wollaston. The next big development was Louis Jacques Mander copyright degree Euro unregistered trademark s invention of a new process called the A Euro OE degree OTP Euro in 1837. Then, in the 1840s, the calotype process was invented that made multiple copies possible using the negative and positive method. The next big development was made by Frederick Scott Archer in 1851. He found a process, called the collodion process, which called for just two a euro three seconds of light exposure to capture an image. Richard Leach Maddox invented the gelatin dry plate silver bromide process where negatives did not have to be developed immediately. Next. Kodak was created in 1888 by George Eastman. Eastman and the scientists that worked with him developed the photographic film in 1889 and made it available in rolls for mass use. The first mass use camera became available in 1900. This camera, called the A Euro OE Brownie, a Euro was on sale until the 1960s. In 1948, Edwin Land invented the Polaroid camera which could take a picture and print it in about one minute. In 1981, Sony made a big jump by inventing the Sony Mavica, the world a Euro unregistered trademark s first digital electronic still camera. Pixar introduced digital imaging and processing in 1985. Fuji introduced the disposable camera in 1986. Finally, 
Sharp introduced the world a Euro unregistered trademark S first camera phone in 2000. Lastly, the Canon EOS 5D is launched in 2005. This is the first consumer priced full frame digital SLR with a 24x36 mm CMOS sensor. Field advancements Digital imaging has demonstrated its worth in a variety of fields from education to medicine. As digital projectors, screens, and graphics find their way to the classroom, teachers and students alike are benefiting from the increased convenience and communication they provide, although their theft can be a common problem in schools. In addition acquiring a basic digital imaging education is becoming increasingly important for young professionals. Read, a design production expert from Western Washington University stressed the importance of using a Euro OE digital concepts to familiarize students with the exciting and rewarding technologies found in one of the major industries of the 21st century Euro. The field of medical imaging, a branch of digital imaging that seeks to assist in the diagnosis and treatment of diseases, is growing at a rapid rate. A recent study by the American Academy of Pediatrics suggests that proper imaging of children who may have appendicitis may reduce the amount of appendectomies needed. Further advancements include amazingly detailed and accurate imaging of the brain, lungs, tendons, and other parts of the body a Euro images that can be used by health professionals to better serve patients. There is a program called Digital Imaging in Communications and Medicine that is changing the medical world as we know it. DICOM is not only a system for taking high-quality images of the aforementioned internal organs, but also is helpful in processing those images. It is a universal system that incorporates image processing, sharing, and analyzing for the convenience of patient comfort and understanding. This service is all-encompassing and is beginning a necessity. Theoretical application Although theories are quickly becoming realities in today's our Euro unregistered trademark S technological society, the range of possibilities for digital imaging is wide open. One major application that is still in the works is that of child safety and protection. How can we use digital imaging to better protect our kids? Kodak our Euro unregistered trademark S program, kids identification digital software may answer that question. The beginnings include a digital imaging kit to be used to compile student identification photos, which would be useful during medical emergencies and crimes. More powerful and advanced versions of applications such as these are still developing, with increased features constantly being tested and added. But parents and schools are in a Euro unregistered trademark T the only ones who see benefits in databases such as these. Criminal Investigation Offices such as police precincts, state crime labs, and even federal bureaus have realized the importance of digital imaging in analyzing fingerprints and evidence, making arrests, and maintaining safe communities. As the field of digital imaging evolves, so does our ability to protect the public. Digital imaging can be closely related to the social presence theory especially when referring to the social media aspect of images captured by our phones. There are many different definitions of the social presence theory but two that clearly define what it is would be the degree to which people are perceived as real, and the ability to project themselves socially and emotionally as real people. Digital imaging allows one to manifest their social life through images in order to give the sense of their presence to the virtual world. The presence of those images acts as an extension of oneself to others, giving a digital representation of what it is they are doing and who they are with. Digital imaging in the sense of cameras on phones helps facilitate this effect of presence with friends on social media. Alexander states, presence and representation is deeply engraved into our reflections on images. This is, of course, an altered presence. Nobody confuses an image with a representation reality. But we allow ourselves to be taken in by that representation and only that representation is able to show the liveliness of the absentee in a believable way. Therefore, digital imaging allows ourselves to be represented in a way so as to reflect our social presence. Photography is a medium used to capture specific moments visually. Through photography our culture has been given the chance to send information with little or no distortion. The media richness theory provides a framework for describing a medium a Euro unregistered trademark's ability to communicate information without loss or distortion. 
this theory has provided the chance to understand human behavior and communication technologies. The article written by Daft and Lengel states the following, communication media fall along a continuum of richness. The richness of a medium comprises four aspects, the availability of instant feedback, which allows questions to be asked and answered. The use of multiple cues, such as physical presence, vocal inflection, body gestures, words, numbers and graphic symbols. The use of natural language, which can be used to convey an understanding of a broad set of concepts and ideas. And the personal focus of the medium. The more a medium is able to communicate the accurate appearance, social cues and other such characteristics the more rich it becomes. Photography has become a natural part of how we communicate. For example, most phones have the ability to send pictures in text messages. Apps Snapchat and Vine have become increasingly popular for communicating. Sites like Instagram and Facebook have also allowed users to reach a deeper level of richness because of their ability to reproduce information. Sheer, VC Tina Gersa Euro unregistered trademark use of MSN features, discussion topics, and online friendship development, the impact of media richness and communication control. Communication Quarterly, 59, 1. Methods A digital photograph may be created directly from a physical scene by a camera or similar device. Alternatively, a digital image may be obtained from another image in an analog medium, such as photographs, photographic film, or printed paper, by an image scanner or similar device. Many technical images are Euro such as those acquired with tomographic equipment, side scan sonar, or radio telescopies are Euro or actually obtained by complex processing of non-image data. Whether radar maps as seen on television news are a commonplace example. The digitalization of analog real-world data is known as digitizing, and involves sampling and quantization. Finally, a digital image can also be computed from a geometric model or mathematical formula. In this case the name image synthesis is more appropriate, and it is more often known as rendering. Digital image authentication is an issue for the providers and producers of digital images such as healthcare organizations, law enforcement agencies and insurance companies. There are methods emerging in forensic photography to analyze a digital image and determine if it has been altered. Previously digital imaging depended on chemical and mechanical processes, now all these processes have converted to electronic. A few things need to take place for digital imaging to occur, the light energy converts to electrical energy think of a grid with millions of little solar cells. Each condition generates a specific electrical charge. Charges for each of these solar cells are transported and communicated to the firmware to be interpreted. The firmware is what understands and translates the color and other light qualities. Pixels are what is noticed next, with varying intensities they create and cause different colors, creating a picture or image. Finally the firmware records the information for future and further reproduction. Advantages There are several benefits of digital imaging. First, the process enables easy access of photographs and Word documents. Google is at the forefront of this Euro revolution, a Euro unregistered trademark with its mission to digitize the world a Euro unregistered trademark s books. Such digitization will make the books searchable, thus making participating libraries, such as Stanford University and the University of California Berkeley, accessible worldwide. Digital imaging also benefits the medical world because it a Euro aware's the electronic transmission of images to third-party providers referring dentists, consultants, and insurance carriers via Emodema Euro. The processor Euro OA is also environmentally friendly since it does not require chemical processing Euro. Digital imaging is also frequently used to help document and record historical, scientific and personal life events. Benefits also exist regarding photographs. Digital imaging will reduce the need for physical contact with original images. Furthermore, digital imaging creates the possibility of reconstructing the visual contents of partially damaged photographs, thus eliminating the potential that the original would be modified or destroyed. In addition, photographers will be a Euro OE freed from being a Euro chain need a Euro unregistered trademark to the darkroom, 
a Euro will have more time to shoot and will be able to cover assignments more effectively. Digital imaging a Euro means a Euro unregistered trademark that a Euro OE photographers no longer have to rush their film to the office, so they can stay on location longer while still meeting deadlines a Euro. Another advantage to digital photography is that it has been expanded to camera phones. We are able to take cameras with us wherever as well as send photos instantly to others. It is easy for people to us as well as help in the process of self-identification for the younger generation. Drawbacks Critics of digital imaging cite several negative consequences. An increased a euro or flexibility in getting better quality images to the readers a euro will tempt editors, photographers and journalists to manipulate photographs. In addition, a euro o staff photographers will no longer be photojournalists, but camera operators a euro as editors have the power to decide what they want a euro show to euro unregistered trademark a euro. Legal constraints, including copyright, pose another concern. Will copyright infringement occur as documents are digitized and copying becomes easier? How the camera works, there is a lot that goes into a photograph than most people know. Photography means drawing of light, making it easier to understand how we get a photograph. A photograph is literally light captured and transmuted into an electronic file. Taking a photograph has three parts to it the lens, the image sensor, and the shutter. The main aspect of a digital camera is the lens. The lens is in control of how the image will look. There are two types of lenses, a convex and concave lens. A typical camera has five to seven of these lenses that manipulate light as it is passed through them. The amount of light that enters the lens is controlled by the opening in the lens called the aperture. The smaller the aperture the less light let in through it. After all the light is passed through the lens it comes to the next step of the process, the shutter. The shutter controls how much light will be let in. The light that passes through the shutter ends up at the image sensor, and creates the image. See also, digital image processing, digital photography, dynamic imaging, image editing, image retrieval, graphics file format, graphic image development, Society for Imaging Science and Technology, Film Recorder, Photo Plotter. References. External links. Latest tech and digital imaging speed, 12,000 pages per hour. Cornell University. Digital imaging tutorial, digital imaging FAQ frequently asked questions. Digital imaging FAQ, Dartmouth, Haney Farid. Digital image forensics, lectures on image processing, by Alan Peters. Vanderbilt University. Updated March 11, 2013. HTTP, Electronics How Stoof Works Com Digital Digital Camera HTM.